Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at how to create a light streak overlay that you can use as either transition or cinematic effect in your videos. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is to bring adjustment clip on top of our videos. And I'm only going to use about a second and a half of the clip, but this duration is really dependent on how long you want it to be. And now I'm going to drop it in between our videos and then take it directly to the Fusion page. Once we're on the Fusion page, the first thing we will do is to bring Fast Noise node into the node tree system. And here with the Fast Noise node, we're going to play with the scale parameter first. The scale parameter, as you see that when I bring this all the way up, it's going to give us this really scary looking uh, thing. So we want to actually bring this down. I bring this down so that it gives us this foggy and uh, semi-transparent feel. And the next parameter we're going to play with is Seas. And I'm also going to keyframe uh, here as well in the middle of this video clip. As you see, that seat parameter gives movement to our light streak. So here in the middle, it's much brighter. And then we're going to come to the beginning of this video clip. And we're going to keyframe again. And here we want it to be much lighter, much less dense compared to the middle. And then we're going to move all the way to the end of this video clip. And very much like what we did at the beginning, we want to keyframe it. And then we want this to be much uh, much uh, less dense, uh, not as bright. So now, as you guys see that, we pretty much have the movement of the light down uh, and uh, we have a pretty good foundation for us to work off of. We can also play with the composition of the light a little bit more. So here, we're going to start with the detail parameter. And with the detail parameter, I'm going to actually bring that down a little bit. And then we're going to go to the contrast parameter, bring that up a little, uh, just a little bit, so that it's nice, has a nice, nicer contrast. And then we're going to go to the brightness parameter, bring that up a little, so that the bright spot is a little bit brighter. And next, we're going to go to the color tab. And under color tab, uh, we're going to go to color two. And under color two, we're going to just uh, pick a, a warm color. So the idea here is to change the color of the light streak we have right here. Uh, and this is going to be the foundation for creating a warm light streak effect later on. So just to pick a color that you think is on the warmer side of the scale. So the next thing we're going to do, guys, is to bring more texture into our effect. So now to do that, the first thing we'll do is go to tools. And then under tools, we're going to bring the soft glow nodes under blur and in between uh, fast, no fast noise one and uh, merge one. So now here you can already see that we have just more layers to the light. And I'm going to play with the threshold parameter, bring that up. And then I'm also going to play with the gain parameter a little as well. Uh, just bring that up a little. So now you definitely see more layers uh, to this light. And another parameter that we can play with is blend. And what this will do is to kind of neutralize some of the, some of the, the effect that we're seeing here so that it's maybe not as strong if you don't like that. So what I'm going to do is just to bring the blend parameter down a little. So you see now this is really getting close to the effect that we saw earlier. Another parameter we can play with is brightness and contrast. So bring that in between soft glow and emerge one. And here the idea is that less is more. So guys, just a little changes to uh, parameters like contrast, saturation, and, and gain can make a huge difference. So uh, really just a little bit of a tweak here and there. So it's looking pretty good already. Um, so then let's bring it back to the edit page and have a look at the final effect here. So guys, uh, this is looking pretty good. Um, we are pretty much done with the first effect. The thing with adjustment clip is that now we can easily copy and paste this and to create another light streak effect that is a variation of the one that we just did. So let's go ahead and come to our fusion page. And here, what we're going to do is to start playing with the seat parameter, or the seat rate parameter first. That is going to change up the speed of the movement. And now as a result, you guys will see that the movement of the light has definitely changed because of the change to seeth rate. And the idea here is that we want to create a lighter version, a lighter and chippier version of the effect that we just did. Um, so I'm also going to start bringing down contrast, brightness, and detail parameters. So you guys will see that as we start to make changes to these parameters, uh, bring those parameters down, you're going to see that this effect is looking much lighter compared to the one we did earlier. And we can continue to work on this look um, by adjusting scale parameter as well. So I'm going to start bringing the scale parameter up a little. Uh, and then maybe also bring it down. So uh, that's looking fine. So the idea is that we're just going to tweak these parameters until we can reach the satisfactory effect. Okay, so now let's go ahead and bring it back to the edit page. 
and uh, have a look at the effect that we have produced so far. So that's definitely looking a lot lighter, a little bit chippier uh, compared to the version that we worked on earlier. But we can still fine tune this and, and make some changes to uh, the detail parameter, for example. Uh, so that's looking that's looking good. I'm also going to see if the scale parameter is going to make a difference here. Um, so, OK, so that's looking good so far. And I'm also going to see if the contrast parameter is going to help us uh, as well. So I'm going to make some changes there and then go to brightness and contrast node, make some minor changes to some of the parameters there as well. And then go to soft glow, make some changes to threshold and gain to see if that's going to help. Uh, it is. Uh, so it's looking pretty good so far, guys. I think I'm OK. I'm happy with the effect that we have right here. The idea is that we want to make a lighter version of the one we created earlier. And I think this is looking good. And finally, we can also play with the fading and fade out handles on the adjustment clip. Uh, this will make the uh, overlay uh, transition into the video much nicer, much smoother. So these are just some additional things you can do to make it look, uh, to make it work even better. So I hope this helps, guys, and I will see you next time.